Look up at the night sky, see the moon? It's a sight that has captivated humanity for millennia, a constant presence in our lives watching over us from above. It hangs there like a cosmic lantern, a beacon in the darkness. Its gentle glow has inspired countless myths, legends, and even scientific discoveries. It's been our companion for billions of years, guiding sailors across oceans, marking the passage of time, and influencing the rhythms of life on Earth. But what if this familiar friend turned into a fearsome foe? What if the moon which has always been a symbol of tranquility became a source of terror? Imagine the moon, no longer a gentle orb but a harbinger of doom, slowly creeping closer to Earth. Its once comforting presence now a looming threat. This isn't the plot of a science fiction movie. It's a thought experiment, a journey into the heart of a terrifying yet fascinating cosmic event. This is a thought experiment, a journey into the heart of a terrifying yet fascinating cosmic event. Imagine the moon's serene face turning sinister, its glow becoming a warning rather than a comfort. The moon is more than just a pretty sight in the sky. It's a vital part of our planet's ecosystem, influencing everything from the tides to the behavior of animals. It's a celestial dance partner, locked in a gravitational embrace with Earth. This dance keeps our planet stable, dictating our tides and seasons and maintaining the delicate balance of our environment. This dance keeps our planet stable, dictating our tides and seasons. The moon's gravitational pull is responsible for the rise and fall of the ocean's tides, a rhythm that has shaped life on Earth for eons. But what if something disrupted this delicate balance? What if an external force or a cosmic event altered the moon's orbit, setting it on a collision course with Earth? What if the moon, instead of orbiting us, started on a collision course with Earth? The consequences would be catastrophic, altering the very fabric of our existence. The consequences would be devastating, rewriting the very history of our planet. The moon's approach would trigger a series of apocalyptic events, each more terrifying than the last. First, we'd notice subtle changes. The tides would become erratic, more extreme. Coastal areas would experience unprecedented flooding, disrupting ecosystems and human settlements alike tides would become erratic, more extreme. The once predictable ebb and flow of the ocean would turn chaotic, with waves reaching heights never seen before. The moon's pull would grow stronger as it drew nearer. Its gravitational influence would wreak havoc on our planet, causing earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and other natural disasters. Our world would be on the brink of a cataclysm. The sky would be dominated by the looming presence of the moon, a constant reminder of the impending doom. Humanity would face an unprecedented crisis, struggling to survive in a world turned upside down. As the moon drew closer, its gravitational pull on Earth would intensify, creating havoc with our oceans. The serene rhythm of the tides which we have come to rely on would be thrown into utter disarray. The gravitational forces would not just cause minor changes but would lead to catastrophic shifts in the ocean's behavior. Tides wouldn't rise and fall in their usual rhythm. Instead, the once predictable ebb and flow would become erratic and unpredictable. The ocean, a force of nature that has always been both a giver and taker of life, would turn into an unrecognizable beast. Instead they'd become monstrous, surging far inland, swallowing coastlines and cities. The waves would no longer be gentle caresses on the shore but rather towering walls of water, capable of obliterating everything in their path. Coastal defenses, no matter how advanced, would be rendered useless. Imagine a wall of water, taller than skyscrapers, crashing onto the land. The sheer force and volume of these waves would be beyond anything humanity has ever witnessed. The destruction would be swift and merciless, leaving behind a trail of devastation. Coastal cities, once vibrant hubs of humanity, would be the first to face the moon's wrath. These bustling metropolises filled with life and activity would be transformed into ghost towns, submerged under the relentless tides. Millions would be displaced, seeking refuge inland as the relentless tides reshaped the continents. The mass migration would lead to overcrowded shelters and strained resources, creating a humanitarian crisis of unprecedented scale. Communities would be torn apart and the social fabric would be stretched to its limits. But the moon's influence wouldn't stop there. Its gravitational pull would extend beyond the oceans, affecting the very core of our planet. The delicate balance that has maintained Earth's stability for eons would be disrupted. It would reach deep into the Earth's crust, awakening slumbering giants. Volcanoes that have been dormant for millennia would be stirred from their long sleep, their pent-up energy ready to be unleashed. 
volcanoes dormant for millennia would roar back to life spewing molten lava and ash into the atmosphere. The skies would darken with ash clouds blocking out the sun and plunging the world into a volcanic winter. The air would become thick with ash, making breathing difficult and causing widespread respiratory issues. Earthquakes would ripple across the globe, splitting the earth open and toppling mountains. The ground would shake with a ferocity that would make even the most stable structures crumble. Cities built to withstand natural disasters would find themselves vulnerable to the relentless quakes. The ground beneath our feet, once solid and reassuring, would become a treacherous, ever-shifting landscape. The very foundation of our world would be in constant flux, making it difficult to find safe ground. The chaos unleashed by the moon's proximity would be a stark reminder of the fragile balance that sustains life on Earth. The closer the moon came, the more we could feel its impending presence. It was as if the universe itself was holding its breath, waiting for the inevitable collision. The slower Earth would spin, the more our daily lives would be disrupted. The rhythm of our existence tied so closely to the cycle of day and night would be thrown into chaos. The moon's gravity would act like a brake, gradually slowing our planet's rotation. This deceleration would not be a gentle one, it would be a forceful tug, felt in every corner of the globe. Our days, normally a comforting cycle of light and darkness, would stretch longer and longer. The familiar pattern of sunrise and sunset would become a distant memory, replaced by an unending twilight. Imagine a day that lasts not 24 hours, but weeks or even months. The sun would hang in the sky, unyielding, casting a relentless glare that would scorch the earth. The sun would bake the facing side of earth, while the other side would freeze in perpetual darkness. This stark contrast would create a world of extremes, where survival would become a daily struggle. This extreme temperature difference would create unimaginable storms, with winds and weather patterns that we have never seen before. The atmosphere would become a battleground of hot and cold, light and dark, winds howling across the globe with unprecedented fury. These storms would not just be a meteorological event, but a harbinger of the chaos to come. Then, the inevitable. The moment of impact. The angle at which the moon struck Earth would determine the nature of our demise. A glancing blow might send shockwaves through the planet while a direct hit would be catastrophic. A direct hit would be like detonating every nuclear weapon ever created a thousand times over. The sheer force of the impact would be beyond anything we could imagine, a cataclysmic event that would reshape the very surface of our world. The energy released would vaporize the moon and a significant chunk of Earth's surface, instantly turning rock and metal into superheated gas. This gas would spread out, creating a firestorm that would engulf everything in its path. The sky would ignite, not with the warm hues of a sunset, but with the blinding light of a billion suns. This light would be so intense that it would outshine the stars, turning night into day and day into a blinding inferno. In the aftermath, the Earth would be a desolate wasteland. The once vibrant and thriving planet would be reduced to ruins, a stark reminder of the fragility of our existence in the vast cosmos. But even in the face of such devastation, there is always hope. Humanity has a remarkable ability to rebuild, to start anew, and perhaps, in the ashes of our former world, we would find the strength to create a new beginning. The impact would be just the beginning, the real chaos would unfold in the aftermath. The debris from the moon and earth blasted into space by the collision wouldn't simply vanish, instead it would become a deadly halo around our planet, raining fire from the sky for millennia to come. Imagine a constant barrage of meteors, each one carrying the energy of a nuclear bomb, setting the atmosphere ablaze. The surface of earth would be unrecognizable. Oceans would boil away leaving behind vast desolate plains of scorched earth. The air would become thick with toxic fumes making it impossible to breathe. Life as we know it would cease to exist. But from the ashes of this cosmic catastrophe, a new chapter in Earth's story might begin. The debris field surrounding Earth, created by the Moon's impact, wouldn't remain chaotic forever. Over millions of years gravity would start to work its magic, pulling the molten rock and dust together. This process, known as accretion, is the same one that formed our solar system billions of years ago. Small particles would clump together, forming larger and larger bodies. Over eons a new planetary system could emerge from the wreckage, orbiting the remnants of our once blue planet. These new worlds, born from destruction, would be vastly different from Earth. 
their composition, their atmospheres, their very existence would be a testament to the cataclysmic event that created them. The moon's demise, though a tragedy, could pave the way for a new era of cosmic evolution. The scenario we've explored is, thankfully, highly unlikely. The moon isn't on a collision course with Earth. Its orbit is stable, a testament to the delicate balance of forces in our solar system. The moon will continue to be our celestial companion, a silent guardian watching over us from the night sky. But this thought experiment serves as a stark reminder of the power of the cosmos and the fragility of our existence. We are but a small part of a vast and ancient universe, governed by forces far beyond our control. It's a humbling thought, but also an inspiring one. For in the face of such cosmic grandeur, we can appreciate the preciousness of life, the wonder of our planet, and the beauty of our celestial dance with the moon.